Did you ever wonder how medicines and vaccines are discovered and developed? The process of developing a medicine or vaccine is complex. It takes hundreds, if not thousands, of dedicated people to research and develop a new medicine or vaccine. It all begins by first understanding the condition or disease itself. By understanding the condition, researchers can tease out a target specific to the condition, such as a critical enzyme, and study it in the laboratory. Once a target is identified, researchers design, make, and test molecules to find the ones that best interact or interfere with the chosen target. This isn't an easy process. It takes time and patience to find the right target for the condition and the right molecule that interacts with that target in the right way. Once the best molecules are identified, they continue on the drug development path as potential new medicines or vaccines. The next step in the journey is to collect more data in the laboratory to understand how safe the potential new medicines and vaccines may be in people. This is done without actually giving it to a single person. Only the best molecule continues its journey as a potential new medicine or vaccine. At this point, all the data about the potential new medicine or vaccine is shared with health authorities, such as the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, through an investigational new drug, IND, application. If the health authorities agree, the potential new medicine or vaccine can be tested in people in clinical trials, starting with phase one. Phase one clinical trials help researchers understand the safety of a potential new medicine or vaccine. Frequent clinical exams and lab work are done. Any issues or side effects that clinical trial participants experience are recorded. If all goes well with phase one, phase two clinical trials are up next. These trials are done to better understand how well the potential medicine or vaccine may work for the condition being studied and the side effects that may occur. If phase two is successful, then phase three trials are the final step before potential regulatory approval. Phase three clinical trials have the largest group of participants with the condition or people at risk of developing a potentially preventable disease being studied. Results from these trials and all the previous trials help researchers determine whether the study medicine or vaccine is safe and effective for people with that condition or effective at preventing the disease. If a potential new medicine or vaccine makes it through these stages, a new drug application, NDA, can be submitted for health authority review and approval to make it available for patient use. As you can see, it takes the dedication and determination of many scientists, researchers, clinicians, and patients, and lots of hard work and effort to find and bring the right molecule to your medicine cabinet.